Cappuccino Grouping Module Overview When observing a large movement in price, one would expect to find a large movement in volume as well. Because, in theory, it takes effort to move the price from one region to another. The idea behind the Cappuccino Grouping Module is to show these volume and price movements so that you can more safely enter or exit a trade. This module is the heart of Cappuccino, the focal point of the entire application. The panel of the grouping module has on the left side a display of volume by price range, also known as VP volume at price. In the center, candlesticks are displayed. On the right side is the display of buy or sell intentions, which is a replica of the order book. At the bottom of the panel, there is a box that graphically shows the variations and accumulation of volume. Finally, on the top bar there are 14 accelerator buttons. Within each candle, you see the buy and sell attacks by price range. Also, the price range with the highest volume within the candlestick will be highlighted, so you can quickly see where the biggest fight between bulls and bears is happening. Finally, as you know, a bullish candle is expected to have more buying attacks. And on a bearish candle, more volume of sell attacks is expected. This way, if there is a divergence between the candlestick direction and the volume attacks, the candlestick will be highlighted with a rectangle around it. As stated earlier, the top bar has 14 buttons. The first, from right to left, in the shape of a gear, serves to open the configuration panel. The second has the shape of a mouse. Its function is to allow or not that mouse clicks are propagated to the cappuccino grouping module. The idea behind this functionality is to prevent accidental clicks from triggering unwanted behavior, as well as allowing you to use MetaTrader 5 tools to plot lines, channels, etc. However, it should be noted that these lines will be synchronized with the MetaTrader chart and not with Cappuccino. The third button, in the form of two vertical lines, has the function of centralizing the price in the middle of the grouping module screen. Sometimes the price quickly moves off the screen, so this button puts the chart back in the center of the frame. The fourth button, in the form of an arrow, serves to fix the horizontal scroll so that the current candle is always visible. From the fifth button to the tenth button, you'll find accelerators to quickly change the way volume bars are displayed inside candles. Thus, the fifth button shows the left aligned volumes. The sixth button shows the right aligned volumes. The seventh button shows the volumes aligned to the center. Delta volume is the difference between buy attacks and sell attacks. So the 8th button shows the left aligned delta volume. The 9th button shows the right aligned delta volume. The 10th button shows the center aligned delta volume. If no buttons are pressed, the volume bars will not be shown. The 11th button plus sign increases the vertical zoom. The 12th button minus sign decreases the vertical zoom. The 13th button plus sign increases the horizontal zoom. And finally, the 14th button minus sign decreases the horizontal zoom. In the upper left corner of the grouping module, you will find the symbol of the asset you are viewing, the type of volume being shown in the candlestick and VP volume bars, and the type of grouping being shown. To scroll, both vertically and horizontally, you must click somewhere on the screen and drag in the desired direction. Alternatively, there are four arrow-shaped buttons to scroll vertically and horizontally. You can also zoom vertically by placing the mouse pointer over the price ruler and rotating the center mouse wheel. In the same way, you zoom horizontally by placing the mouse pointer over the time ruler and rotating the middle mouse wheel. If you position the mouse pointer at any other point on the screen, rotating the central mouse wheel will zoom horizontally and vertically simultaneously. At the bottom of the frame, 
there is an area for volume graphs. In the first tab, you can see the volume of purchases, sales, and the total volume. On the right side, there are three buttons that serve to enable or disable each of these graphs. When positioning the mouse pointer over one of the buttons, the name of the corresponding graph will be shown. On the second tab, there are two graphs. One shows the delta volume values for each candle, and the other one, it shows the delta accumulation. Thus, these two charts help you to identify whether the asset is overbought or oversold. Each of these indicators has two colors, configurable through the configuration panel. One to indicate buyer delta, and the other for seller delta. Through the grouping module, Cappuccino provides five types of indicators. Moving average indicator, parabolic SR indicator, Bollinger bands, MACD indicator, and stochastic indicator. The Cappuccino grouping module is quite extensive. So, for your convenience, we've divided this tutorial into 10 videos with the titles Cappuccino Overview, Moving Average Indicator, Parabolic SAR Indicator, MACD Indicator, Bollinger Bands Indicator, Stochastic Indicator, Grouping Module Configuration, Risk Manager, Coloring Rules, Placing an Order. Don't miss the other videos about the grouping module functionalities. In addition to these, there are still videos of other Cappuccino tools with the titles Times and Trades, Market Watch, Last Minute, Offer Book. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.